Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush Tackle Crush Tuesday. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to share with you a couple different baits, fish catches on a recent trip. And then I'm going to share with you guys a bait. I know it's a Z-Man bait again. But actually, it's a bait I've never used before until this trip. And I'm really, really impressed with this bait. And I encourage you guys, if you're into flipping and pitching, you might want to give this bait a look. That's all coming up. I wasn't quite sure how to make this video because I went up uh, to Lake Ontario and mostly did some largemouth fishing actually. This particular day it was, it was very difficult to get a good bite it seemed. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, conditions look perfect. We were around the, in the right areas. Uh, we tried a lot of topwater baits. There was a lot of mats, a lot of uh, floating vegetation and just didn't get the number of uh, bites that you would expect uh, for that area. I, I basically just worked some, some, some wood and scattered grass and thought I'd try this palmito. I guess that's what it's called, palmito bugs. I bought three packs, okay, and I brought them up with me. I bought a green pumpkin, which is the bait that I used, bama bug, and black and blue flake. It just looked, it looked awesome. I was a little nervous because a lot of times when you're dealing with Z-Man and how durable it is and, and uh, I mean that's just the nature of the plastic sometimes it's hard to rig them properly and so when I was Texas rigging with a large you know, I was using a four odd extra wide gap Gamagatsu extra wide gap super line hook and I just thought it would be hard to rig this properly and keep it positioned properly. I used a 3 8 up to a half ounce weight Texas rigged it with a little bobber stopper is all I did and I was just flipping and pitching in between some of the areas around the the wood you know there's some wood there there's some grass uh, just in those areas and picked off a few fish with it so I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm really impressed here you're actually not burning through a pack of some of the other brands that are out there so quickly uh, because of the durability and the fact that it stayed positioned on the hook. Even when I was flipping it and pitching into areas, uh, you know, sometimes sometimes the head of your creature bait will come off of the hook. Uh, sometimes the hook will come back out through if you're, if you're uh, you know, Texas rigging it, if you're burying it a little bit in the plastic to make it weedless. You can have issues, and I really felt that I didn't get as many... Uh, having as many issues with this bait as I thought I would and it actually was very durable. I caught I caught a number of fish per bait when a lot of times you don't get that with other plastics. So very cool. I mean it's got good action. It's I mean it's just it's very similar to other creature baits that are out there. Alright enough talking. Let's get out on the water. I'm actually fishing with Sean Cohen with Sean today. Uh, he actually has uh, some relatives. He was staying up there with family. When I was up there, so we kind of got together for this for a morning, uh, you know, a couple hours, see what we could do, what kind of damage we could do. A lot of great looking grass there. You guys are going to see it. It's a shame we really couldn't get on a, a good top water bite. New body of water today. We're going to try to put a few bass in the boat. Largemouth today, largemouth fishing. I'm with Co Angler Sean back here. What's up, buddy? How's it going? So we're going to actually break down a brand new body of water. Never fished here before. A lot of stuff going on. Maybe some top water, some flipping. We're just going to see what we can get into, see how many fish we can catch. start to the morning. A little frog action. That's a scorable bass boys on the MLF. Probably wasn't big. 
and that's how you follow that up. Another scorable frog. Missed the frog. Always got to have a little wacky rig Senko <clears throat> to back that missed bite up. Yeah, how long it was? Pike. That's what it is. Piker. <laughs> okay. Snake. Yes. Sean's hooked up. Big one. Hey, that ain't bad. That's no, a good one. That's not bad at all. Well, it was a slow start to the morning, but we're actually putting a couple patterns together. I guess I would, if I was going to fish a tournament in this area, our bigger fish seem to be coming way back underneath all these trees. Uh, we tried frogging, there was some beautiful mats out there, some duckweed, and it just wasn't producing. Uh, but some of these bigger fish, we're flipping. I'm just using a creature bait here. Just Texas rig on a half ounce weight. Sean, what are you using? Riot Minima. A Riot Minima. The Tantrum Trailer, Riot Tantrum Trailer. Okay. Well, hey guys, thanks for taking a look at Tackle Crush Tuesday. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Got a bunch of uh, weekly videos that I put out talking about different baits, different techniques. See some of my fishing adventures. So I encourage you guys to uh, hit that subscribe button. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.